Hi, my name is Jessica Ann Mitcher. I'm in year 13. I'm Thai American, my mom's Thai, and my dad's American. I joined BISP in year 11, 2021. I'm pretty sure, I think, in IGCSE. I'm part of Cruzeiro um, Football Academy, and um, yeah, I've taken part in that ever since I came here. Um, my passion is definitely when it comes to pursuing what I want in the future. I want to be a wildlife veterinarian. Um, I've always loved animals when it came to growing up. I was always situated around them in my house. And um, when, it, when it came to like choosing what I want in college, definitely for applications and stuff like that, I chose to go with the animal route even though I am here. For football, um, I chose definitely to go over there and to support my passion in animals. I would say one of my key talents is definitely being confident in um, speech and being like in, in an area of people I'm able to pursue what I like and to demonstrate my interests in front of people and I think that's very important when it comes to um, the areas in which I want to pursue in college being a veterinarian or like being anything in terms of um, situations with people I think it's very good to have confidence in yourself and self-respect especially with different opinions in communities and stuff like that being able to research and to um, talk about your own opinions is a very important in my opinion and that's one of mine I would say <laughs> even um, doing IB is an accomplishment for me um, IB is a very hard curriculum and I've realized throughout the years that um, just every, everything that I'm doing is like a stepping stone towards who I'm going to be in the future. Um, IGCSE at that time was my greatest accomplishment, now it's IB and I really hope moving forward, ending year 13, um, college will be my greatest success. Um, that would be my parents, definitely, because every single day um, they reach out to me. They hope that I'm okay and ever since a child that I was able to gain all this confidence because of how they viewed me. They, they always pushed me in the areas where I was passionate about and wherever I felt that I was lacking or the felt that I was um, not very confident or interested in certain subjects, they would always waver me, give me suggestions, give me other ways that I could motivate myself and um, show what I'm actual cap actually capable of. And when it came to IB, especially here, I found that um, in certain subjects that I used to be good at or um, used to be challenging for me um, with their support and with other people's support, like tutoring, my house parents, my coaches, like all of them helped me to like become the person that I am today and that really secured me in my life and I really support them and I hope they support me throughout my life. Well, there are a lot of things that I would like to highlight but definitely the community here is big. Um, ever since I came here, because I'm a boarder also, um, everybody felt very welcoming. I felt welcomed here and it felt like my second home. I was always very excited to come here after holidays, after little breaks here and there because the people here are very assertive but at the same time they have their different opinions and they're able to show that themselves without being put down or let down and um, every single time I came here because I left most of the time for um, primary school and stuff like that, when I came into secondary and high school I felt that everybody was just being really welcoming and I love that the community here is great. Boarding life um, has been great to me. I haven't had any problems with that. I feel like the Miss Magley, Miss Michelle, my boarding parents, Miss Sam, have been very accustomed to like what I want. Um, they've been very generous with how they um, what they gave to me and what situations that I was in. In terms of being homesick, they were always there. They allowed me to call on, call on their phones when I didn't have my phone. The, the food is great. They, they're always asking questions and how to improve. And I think that's great when it comes to being a community because you need to, it's hard to like 
satisfy everybody's interests, but at the end of the day, they are doing the best that they can, and that's all we could ask for. Like I said previously, I think I've accomplished a lot in terms of the stepping stones that I have um, done. Um, IGCSC, IB, definitely my personality as a um, student, as a person, grew a lot from coming here, having to depend not only on other people, but on myself, um, having certain situations where I couldn't turn to my parents, or couldn't turn to people that were relatives of me, close to me. Um, I felt that I built a lot of reassurance and self-confidence that when I am to go to college somewhere else um, that I would be able to support myself but also no other means to adapt to and to be able to like support me in my travels or my um, passions elsewhere. I'm part of the Cruzera Academy. I joined in year 11 where um, I wasn't the greatest player. I came from a school team where by means that Cruzeiro is nowhere near a school team. It is definitely an academy. They take care of your interests. They make sure that you are in lines, if you're an, uh, like a sports scholar, in lines with um, pursuing football in the future. They're always looking for what you want to do, where do you want to go in terms of going to Europe, to the US, to Australia. There are all sorts of things that they want to do for you. Um, they push you to your fullest like every single day from training. I am tuckered out. I am so tired that I just want to lie on my bed, but homework is key. Don't say it's not. But um, definitely Cruzeiro is always there for your interest. They make sure before every training to uh, ask questions, to see if everybody is involved in the technical aspects and also in the game. They make sure every most people have um, game time. They they really engulf everyone's perspective and interest into one academy and they make sure that you grow as not only an individual with um, different interests but a footballer um, with ethics, with like um, motivation, with all sorts of things. They, they're also very much intertwined with their academics. Um, this is an academic and sports school so that is very big in this course. Um, I also believe that Cruzeiro really engulfs the idea of school and sports because no matter the occasion where you're feeling that you need help in your academics, Cruzeiro is never going to hinder you from that. They will always be appreciative of an email to the coach saying like, look, I need to go to tutoring or anything like that. Um, they're very, they're here to support you. So whatever you do, if you're here for football, if you're here for the academics, they're always here for you and no matter what. Right now, I hope that I am able to pass my IBs with flying colors and I hope that that allows me to pursue my passions in um, my college and I hope that wh whoever I choose and whatever I go to will truly help me in pursuing my passions in animals but also I hope to um, still support sports and be a part of like a program, a club I just hope for the future um, will be open arms and I'll have a lot of doors that are open to me when it comes to my passions and what I like. I would definitely say if your student is a, um, is a sports person, is very big into extracurricular activities, or they might be getting older or like wanting to pursue colleges elsewhere that the family may not go to, I think boarding and um, being in this community is a great um, way to to develop those interests and those feelings because at the end of the day training is very difficult you want to walk five meters it's very close to your boarding house to take a shower a quick shower and food is always available you will never go hungry here so I feel like boarding is a great way to grow as your own person because you won't always um, develop with your parents. I feel like you, especially me, I relied a lot on them and when I came here I had to find my own ways and paths to encourage myself and do well. So I hope that other families will see this as an area of growth for not only their kids but when they grow up they won't be lost in college and etc. Uh, first off, when I first came here, I would say my boarding house parents were the first ones to support me in my move because 
At first, uh, I spent minimal amount of time away from my parents. I lived with my parents all my life. And when I came here, it was hard. I felt homesick. I was always surrounded by people that I knew for all my life. When I came here, it was a whole different um, environment. And they helped me throughout every single day. They would check on me. They would make sure that I was feeling okay with my environment and that I felt safe and that I felt that I had other people to support me other than the parents that were like miles away. Um, furthermore, I feel like my teachers were a great support when it came to that. Um, like I said, in year 11, it was hard for me to adapt because I came in the second year where the exams were coming into play. And when that happened, I felt lost. Um, sincerely felt like I was going to fail, but every single time that that came into my head, the teachers were always there to comfort me, to help me in my growth, and to always be there, no matter in tutoring or in mental support, that they were always there. And I can't um, imagine my life here without my friends, without my team, Cruzero, without anybody there, because they made this place honestly feel like home. And thanks.